Hi, welcome to the Multicultural Book Talk, Stein and the Beaver, presented by Veronica Napier, Jacqueline Porter, and Della Martin. What is this book about? Stein and the Beaver tells the story of survival by, two, by the merging of two cultures in colonial America, more specifically in the 1700s. What happens in the book? Matt, the main character, is a 13-year-old boy left to fend for himself in the wilderness of Maine. He and his father traveled to Maine from Massachusetts to claim property and to build a house. In early fall, after the cabin was built and completed, his father traveled back to Massachusetts to get the rest of the family, including Matt's mother and new baby sister. His father tells him that he'll be back in six or seven weeks, and Matt is to watch over the cabin while he's away. He gives Matt a musket and leaves off on his journey. Before Matt's dad had left, he more specifically told him to be weary and careful of the savages that lived nearby, the Penobscot Native Americans. But while his father was away, Matt falls prey to his surroundings. If it had not been for a neighboring Penobscot Indian, 18, the other main character, Matt would have never survived. Matt had the musket stolen from an intruder, and he also had some close calls at the nearby river. 18 eventually shows Matt the ways of the forest, and Matt shows 18 the ways of the white man. The boys eventually form an unbreakable bond while crushing the separation of their two very different cultures. Why is this multicultural work important? Well, all multicultural works are important. Sign on the Beaver is important because it's a, it's a award-winning multicultural book that can be used to teach across content areas. It's been around for a long time and it's a go-to for a lot of intermediate teachers. It meets quite a few social studies standards, identifying early cultures, their similarities and differences, various forms of interactions, compromise, cooperation, and conflict. We can also use it to help teach social um, economics within the social studies curriculum, scarcity, and how scarcity requires people to make economic choices, early settlement in America, the development of the United States and how these patterns were influenced by the physical characteristics, and also how people ad adapt to and modify the physical environment to meet their needs during the history of the U.S. It also meets several language art standards, comparing and contrasting two or more characters, explaining how a series of chapters, scenes, or stanzas fit together to provide an overall structure of a particular story. And, Side of the Beaver is on a fifth grade level, so it does have the text complexity, complexity that is mandated by the language art standards. There's also a KTIP lesson plan for you to enjoy. All you have to do is click the link below and follow it to the website. That's it. Thanks.